Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Android apps can now run on a Chromebook. Now when I say it can run on a Chromebook, it can only run on one Chromebook right now. If you're lucky enough to have the Asus Flip 2-in-1, you can do it right now. But you have to do something a little special to get it because it's sort of even more beta than beta. <laughs> you have to be in the developer load. And I'll, I'll show you where to go to do that if you're lucky enough to have a Asus Flip. But this is a game changer. This is an absolute game changer because you're taking the Chromebook, which, you know, as far as web apps, it's okay. It's a pretty good deal. But when you add the whole Google Android Play Store, that's a game changer. That is a, you, you all of a sudden have something um, that is relatively inexpensive that you can load a you know, apps from a store that's bigger than any other store out there. It is incredible. I'm very excited about this. I've been messing with it for a couple of days. I found out about this on Oh My God Chrome, <laughs> omgchrome.com. That's where I get all my Chrome related news. Um, and I'm going to show you some cool apps that I um, installed on here that, you know, just to show you how capable all of a sudden the Chromebook has become because of this. Now, like I said, it could only be on the Asus Chromebook Flip right now. However, uh, let's see, soon support for Android apps will extend to two more Chromebooks, the Acer Chromebook R11 and the Google Chromebook Pixel. And then after that, um, let's see, Chromebooks in 2016-2017, there are, I don't know, no less than 40 others that all of a sudden will get it. So, pretty cool. So, because of this, you may be interested in one of these. This is an incredible Chromebook. I did review it recently. I went ahead and provided a link in the description box below and also a link to Best Buy where they sell it for $250 which is you know basically the going price for these guys. So let's go ahead and see why this is a game changer. I've already loaded some apps but here's here's the first game changer. You will get access to the entire store. That's right, the entire Google Play Store. Look at that, it's all there. It basically, um, the store will think that this is a 6.0 tablet, a Marshmallow tablet. So things that can run on that type of thing will probably run on here. Um, if not, then it'll say that it's not supported. So right there, game changer, Facebook, everything. Um, now, since you have access to the Play Store, Microsoft puts all of their um, mobile apps on there, like Excel, like Word. And you could use these offline. Holy crap. Offline. That is incredible. Let's see. What else you could put? Uh, uh, your favorite weather app on there it, it's killer you can put uh, just anything out of the store you you get the idea so also email you could put the the mobile email instead of using the web-based email good stuff capability of being offline and because of that notifications which show up down here you know it's just like if you were in your tablet and you're pulling it down from the top they show up on the side so all the notifications so if apps do notifications you get notifications freaking cool all right so let's take a look at how you do this because if you buy the, the chromebook now and you have the stable version of the os on there you're not going to get it this is a very early beta that's working really really well so you have to go into the um about into your settings and you got to click on about OS and you have to hit more info under the check and apply updates where you get your updates 
and there you can change your channel there's three different channels on a Chromebook I'm gonna go ahead and hit change channel and you can see you could choose stable which is the way it is out of the box and you have beta and then you have developer unstable let me tell you it's pretty damn stable <laughs> so if you select developer unstable it will reload your Chromebook and then you'll have to re-sign in and then you'll get all your stuff back because it basically will wipe everything off it'll install the uh, Chrome OS developer version M53 M53 and that's the one you want and then all of a sudden you have access to the store so you'll be able to um, where is it you'll be able to see it says Android apps over here Android apps enable Android apps to run on your Chromebook and you can even manage your apps you click manage your apps and look it looks just like um, your menu on an Android device and like I said it's gonna think it's like a 6.0 you're it's not emulating this is running natively so um, look at that 6.0.1 6.0.1 pretty neat so there, you know, you could play games now. You're, you're not gonna. It's not a super gaming device, but you can load a lot of those really cool games that you play. Let's see. I'm gonna come over here. Let's go to top of the charts. And what game should we try to load? Because I know there are a lot of popular games. What's that one that everyone plays? Yeah. Candy Crush. Let's see if Candy Crush works. So we'll go ahead and install Candy Crush and accept the the stuff and we'll see if that works, how well that works. Okay, we'll go ahead and click open. Make sure my sound's turned up. So there you go, we're playing Candy Crush, and by the way, Chrome Flip, you can do this kind of stuff, and, oops, and you can see it does have some problems right there, you can see how it didn't uh, scale properly right there, so let's go ahead and close this and reopen it, um, I'll be right back. Okay, I got this in tablet mode. So, let's see if it will run properly. There's Candy Crush. And I'm going to start it up in portrait mode this time because you could see how um, it actually crap. It wouldn't close when I flipped it and then I tried to close the app. It wouldn't close. So, it's not perfect. I mean, this is you know like alpha it's not even beta again it's developers so certain things are not perfect but I can tell you that Microsoft Office and uh, you know a lot of those things work very very well alright loading 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 we'll have to wait here maybe maybe this does not run very well hmm. okay so Candy Crush is not working well <laughs> Okay, so you can see that games are having some issues. Also, uh, flipping it from portrait to landscape while you uh, have the app open, it gets screwed up. One other thing that uh, is still a work in pro progress, <laughs> I was going to say progress, um, you can't scale. Like, this is the window that's open. It's in its own window because it's an app, and you can go ahead and go full screen. Um, we'll go ahead and click the full screen and then you can go to windowed but you can't um, you can't change the size of the window that you can't do so that's kind of a you know something that maybe in the future they'll, they'll get down I don't know how necessary that would be on you know a Chromebook this size but maybe if you get the higher resolution 
guys that can be an issue another thing uh, that i saw in a different review because I, I was watching some reviews of this is if let's say you got netflix running because netflix will work and it's playing and you open up another app and you switch to it the video that's running will stop so it doesn't quite multitask between them very well so basically whatever window you're focused on is running and then the other one is sort of not running that may change again this is a development channel it's not even beta yet but I'll tell you I've already found this extremely useful just having the office apps being able to do my email offline being able to uh, you know just mess around with productivity kind of applications it really really works well so if you're the type of person that just loves to be on the cutting edge and wants to experience um, Android apps on your Chromebook you need to pick up a Chromebook Asus Flip and you can do it right now by loading the development channel. Um, like I said, and I'm repeating myself over and over again, this is a game changer. This feature, this capability alone may make this platform overtake all others. It really is an incredible development in the Chromebook slash android world i must say okay so again i went ahead and put a link to my review of this and i'll tell you i've been using this for um ever since that video was posted actually a couple of weeks before and it's an incredible incredible um chromebook slash tablet flip two and one and there's somebody at work that has one of these and they're not having any problems with it either so that's two for two um, good to go so I definitely you know if you're looking for it it's the uh, Asus Chromebook Flip model C100P and it's currently the only guy that supports the development M53 channel where you can experience Android apps again also real soon it's going to be coming to the Acer Chromebook R11 and the Google Chromebook Pixel, which is very expensive, so I doubt too many people are messing around with that. Unless you got a birthday coming up and someone wants to hook you up, you know. But uh, check it out. If you like being on the cutting edge like me, experience all this new stuff, all this new capability, be on the edge of a revolution. <laughs> this is a revolution. This is a Chromebook revolution. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for joining me here for the channel. I really do appreciate every fan, viewer, subscriber, and my cell phone, <laughs> especially you. And I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.